I'm getting, there's a lot of people in the industry that mm-hmm. love what I'm doing and mm-hmm. think it's great. And then, of course, I'm getting people in the industry that don't like what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Um, and they think I'm wrong. Um, you know, and they don't think the automotive industry discriminates against women. They don't think that women are taken advantage of. And it's just, and they think by me saying that is making it worse. You know, making things worse. And so, and for me, I'm just like, and ultimately, how how the automotive industry kind of looks at it is it's well the reason that people feel mistreated misunderstood or taken advantage of because they're not educated Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is true Mm -hmm. women were guarded with these decisions we come in we feel taken advantage of we don't know what to do and it's because we are uneducated and then we're left at the mercy of whoever we feel might be the best we don't make we don't make educated decisions about our cars, right. um, and which is true. They need it's because we don't have that education. But it's like when you work, and to my point is, but this is, you guys are in business to provide these services or products to your customers. It is your job to educate them on this and have them feel comfortable. And the industry is like, well, women are just you know that they're just not educated and we're not really taking advantage of them and it's just like well you are if you're not educating your consumer your customer so they feel good about it you are taking advantage of them